Whoa, hello friends, this is Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, American campaign with John Paul Jones. Land battles hard, sea battles hard, I got all the awards. Now, I lost a lot of money, I spent probably about two to two to three hundred thousand dollars, basically. And I still got some, but if you can see here, uh, my total expenses are minus 60000 So that's why I have to keep this money. I can't keep spending it. Um, what I did is I went to all my ships and I put on um, the third tier of the gun carriages and the boarding kits on some of them. As you can see, this one's only second tier. This one's third tier. Second tier. Second tier, third tier, third tier, third tier. So, anyways, and you can see, like, look at this. Maintenance of this ship is uh, 11,000, 11,000, 11,000. I mean, that is outrageous. But, anyways, I mean, sure, I maxed them out, but, you know, whatever. Okay. So, next battle is the Chesapeake. I follow the orders. I want to keep this money right here, which I'll lose 66,000 of it <laughs> because that's what I lose a turn. <laughs> so I ain't gonna really get much. But anyways, that's the way it goes in this game. <laughs> oh yeah, and I, I spent a lot of rep too. But, um, and that was a lot of money. And I even sold a lot of my um, naval cannons. Like I had a whole collection of them i sold all those to try to get back to the money that i have all right um like i said i've done this in a normal campaign so i don't i don't remember all these battles but i don't know which i want to put first but i guess it really doesn't matter right And, uh, like I said, I don't have 10 warships. I mean, I do have this transport that does have 30 guns on it. And these marine units. So, and I, I probably could have fit this one up. I just didn't. So I hope I don't need it. You know what I mean? Like, this is another ship that has 30 transport. And I could have put some more marines on here but again my expenses are like 66,000 or 60,000 whatever it was so that's just too much so I'm just gonna leave that one out because you know it only has 125 guys on it so it's not gonna do me any good all right well this is what I'm gonna go in with so it looks like almost 10,000 or yeah it is 10,000 yeah six and four is ten and then yeah, okay so a little over a little over let's go in and see what's gonna happen I didn't bring any fire ships, so I gotta fight this out. And I hope that the uh, game doesn't crash. Okay, very good. All right. Well, I'm not gonna read that. Yeah, this is this one where it's just a massive. Oh man, yeah. Destroy ten. Okay, so we gotta destroy ten of these now. I'm sure. Or I hope that they gave me some allies. Let's see how this is. Alright, well these are my ships. Yeah, and... Ah, here are the allies. Okay, yeah, good. Because, I mean, like I said, that would be daunting for me to have to... I mean, I could add ten ships, but I only have nine of my own. So, yeah, okay, so we got, we got, got a lot here. Okay, so now, let's figure out a strategy. The wind is going this way, and... Oh yeah, here's a big one right here. There's a big one right there. There, there. 
All right. So I guess what I could do is... Yeah, we got a good shot right here, so why don't you just go there. This one goes there. You can go there. Well, why don't you go there? Because like I said, if we go this way, we're not going to... They're going to be able to shoot at us. And I'm trying to think that... I guess if we all go... I don't like that, maybe. Like I said, I don't remember when I played this. I mean, I think I used mine to cut them off, so let's do that. With my force, I'm going to just go ahead and have them all... I mean, we're going against the wind. Not against, but I mean, not totally with the wind. Maybe these guys, I'll keep them heading forward. To right about there, maybe. Let's see. All right, let's, um, let's just see what happens. I mean... Gotta, um, like I said, like I said, whenever this is starting up, you can always fast forward to where, whatever point you want to actually see, because this is just a setup, and it's like me thinking this over again now. Like, like I said, you know, it's been a long time since I've played this battle um, from the normal campaign, so I mean, that's been many months. So I just gotta see what's going on. But like I said, if I I feel like if I, I make a stand, I can go a little fast maybe, but because if they pass me or if the wind changes, I just want a group of ships to um yeah, and I should have them all on uh, full sail so when they do anchor and I start them up again they'll be able to oh now somebody is shooting oh man let's see oh yeah right here And I mean, sometimes when I do this, things get goofy, but I'm thinking, like I said, I, I definitely want the ships in a group. Oh, no. Okay, so no. All right, so now I got to get back to normal speed. Sorry. All right. All right. Let's pause for a minute. Because, uh, Rochester, um, really, um, what are you... I mean, you're only going at eight, eight knots, but man, you got way ahead of everybody else. All right, now, yeah. No, oh, okay, so, gee, I gotta get a hold of this. All right, so we got this one here, so, um... You're gonna go there. Ben K, you gotta get over here. Romulus, you gotta get over here. And Ranger, you're gonna also get over here. Now, I don't like Roch I mean Rochester um, having to fight all three of these. I mean, that makes no sense. So I think maybe I got to tilt this one over here to help out. That one can go there. This one. Just want to make sure they don't collide. 
So here we're just kind of like staging up for whatever these guys are going to do. Like I, I, I don't want to keep following them because then I'm going to fall into their trap. So, so that is that. So I guess, like I said, I'll let him keep going and we'll see what happens here. Because I got these guys I'm going to have to watch coming up. And then do we have anybody else over here? Oh, yeah. So you know what? Yeah, I should have had all of these guys going. Because those allies can deal with whatever's the front part of the train. But Oh, and I got my transport. So I'll send my transport over here too. Alright, so like I said, if this is not good enough for you to watch, you can just speed ahead, okay? But like I said, um, this is a giant battle. It's going to be a long video, I know, but... And I got to get 10 of these anyway, but I might try to get them all. But the point is... Um, I definitely got to watch this. Because, like I said, this is a big guy here. I mean, these ain't these ain't baby ships here. You know, these got 900... I mean, they, they're... They might not have, like, a fully decked out crew like I got, but they got optimal. They may have optimal. And he's... To me, this one's pretty close. To, uh, I think I could put um, 1,300 on, on the ship of whatever class this is, I think. That might, that's a first-rate something. So I'll find out at the end of the battle once I get one of these. But, um, and like I said, the problem I always have is sometimes ships collide. So now... Alright, now <laughs> this is going to get pretty ugly. I'm wondering if I should also commit this ship. Let me see, how many ships we got over here? One, two, three, four... Well, we got a five pack here, and that'll make six. Because sooner or later they're going to turn around and come at us. So I don't want to commit too many ships, but man, this is really complicated. Okay. Well, let's see now. Well, you're going to really have to turn that way a little bit, and then you're going to have to go that way. All right, let's go. Yeah, I don't like having one of my best ships over here like this, but... I should have committed the whole pack. It's been a while. Yeah, maybe that one I can have go over there. Just gotta see. Yeah, I don't want. Okay, now look, Ben, you gotta go off that way because Bernardo looks like he's. Can't have you guys colliding. Those two are coming. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, sorry that I, you know, have to pause and do stuff like that, but. just that the wind is all right so now um, how is this going all right well I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can take one of these out right now it's gonna weaken my ship 
course, and then I have another one right here, but, um, but yeah, you're going to get over here to put a block just in case they come back. So I don't like the idea of just my one ship over there. It's kind of like really bothering me. Matter of fact, you can also bring this one. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And your Romulus is a backup. All right, and I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm gonna need these guys over there now. So put them on full sail. Yeah, sorry about having to do all this, but like I said, I'm, I'm a little cautious because I don't want my ships to collide. And yeah, this is a big one. This is a giant battle. Yeah, you have your fun until I get over here and then I'll have my fun. Okay, and then this one, get to there, and board that one. And like I said, um, I'm willing to take a chance of a 12 on to 9, but... Um, and like I said, we do have boarding kits on our ships, so... Now, you were here for, just for backup purposes. Um, I'm imagining you can still go off that way. You two gotta go. And how are we doing over here? Yeah, I don't quite uh, know um, if that's going down or not. Now the rest of the fleet is headed off that way. They're gonna bunch up over there. Um, all right, now you. You're gonna have to, yeah, yeah, okay. anchor right about there, maybe, I mean, let's see. Now you're gonna try to come this way. Oh yeah, so th this one is equal to this ship, so we're gonna have to... I don't want to quite board yet. Yeah, because if I can kind of go off that way, and matter of fact, if I can get the Romulus over here too. Oh yeah, and now this guy's trying to get away. So now we're going to have to f go with him. We're going to have to go with them. Oh, and, and we're boarding here, so finally, that's going down. Now, these two are going to be a problem for me, but i got to get this one over here to help out. And while we're here, let me see. Are you able to shoot that ship? Are you able to shoot that ship? Yeah, you go right there. Matter of fact, you go right, right there. Yeah, they're, they're turning around to come at us. But like I said, um, I can't. You know, the way this goes down, there are so many little battles going on. 
it is tough to uh, manage. All right. So we're going to drop to canister. And I'm thinking... Yeah, maybe I can go off that way. If I can do that. And then I can bring him. Maybe I can bring him in through this way to try to get him. So now this is kind of close, six to nine. Either one is not wavering, so <laughs> we'll have to see how that goes out. And matter of fact, I have my transport, so let me anchor that. So where is this one? I can drop out four marine units and send them that way. Because this ship is the slowest in my Navy and it's gonna take forever to get anywhere so I might as well take the Marines off. They can rowboat over there. So. Yeah, we'll let that happen, okay. Now, how are you guys going? Man, this is a big battle. All right. Yeah, I should never have anchored him. Should have realized that he was still sailing. Now he's gonna get over here and fire at my rear. Notice how he's gonna go over here and fire at my uh, stern or whatever. So yeah, so I need to really get you over here. I mean, if we can just get him, we can then get moving. Yeah, he's going to broadside me. Oh, thank God I can do it. Now. I'm just going to drop out one unit. And now Rochester can get moving. Move. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, that that's not bad. All right. So unfortunately, this is only a Advent um, ship, so it doesn't have a lot. And this here is a, you know, a six-rate ship, so I mean that kind of, kind of sucks. Now again, I'm wondering if I could, yeah, he'd be going against the wind though. See, that's the problem. Um, so like I said, if these ships could shoot him and he wants to stay there, and broadside, that's fine. But yeah, they're, they're turning around. They're gonna make our way to us, but that's fine. I mean, I'll deal with that when they come. Um, I'm just trying to, you know, get these guys done with. And it's like, these ships are just going too slow. All right, let's see if I can at least get this to go down. Let's turn him that way. All right. And he might take the ship back, but, you know, it's okay. I mean, because, you know... Once my ships get here, I'll be able to get them back. It's just trying to keep them busy. I just gotta get my Rochester to get over here and assist this one. Yeah, this battle is so big that it's actually... They, like I said, I really think they need to optimize this game. Okay, so now we are bored in here. So it's going to be close. Now, where are my Marines? 
Yeah, I forgot about you guys, sorry. Let's head them, over, one over there. Okay, so we'll get those guys rowing. Oh, and this one already gave up. Alright, I'll get one unit on here, so that way we'll have that done. That needs, uh, Bernardo needs to get over there. Alright. Yep, that's that, that little glitch where you can't release the ship. Cruise. Now this ship here, um, is a Bellanona class, third rate. I'm just gonna I'll send it off that way now. If this ship wants to follow it, that's fine for now. And we will get Rochester over here and and this one I'm trying to maybe get him to the point where we can block this one. And then I just gotta bring this ship over here. And we should be able to get that one, I would think. And on top of that, I got this guy coming in. As a matter of fact, he needs to now go that way. And I'm gonna send one more that way. And you can head that way just in case. Uh, You, you can go off that way, and what are you? Hey, this is a first, oh, wait, wait a minute. This is a first-rate ocean. So maybe I will just leave it there and get these Marines to get on it, maybe. Let me see. I mean, they usually don't let you, I'll tell you that they usually don't let you put, like, whatever was on it. Like, say there was 900 on here. They will not let us put 900 on it within, when we're in the battle. Once I unlock it as a trophy, then I can put whatever I want capacity on it. But, I mean, I'm just saying that they, they might let me only put 300 on this ship. They will not let me max it out. But Bernardo gets, gets, has to get moving. You can go over here and help out. Alright, well, you know, it looks like... Okay, no. What do we got going on here? Somebody surrendered. Yeah, this ship surrendered, so I'll just put one unit on. See, it won't let me close it. That's, that's a glitch. I mean, uh, you know what I mean? Like, once I put one unit here, if I choose not to put more on here, you know what I mean? It should let me close this, and it's not. So Yeah, and I can't even, like... <laughs> It's so silly. Um, yeah, this is a first-rate ocean, too. Like, wow. All right, well, okay, so the only way to, to solve this problem is to try to click the ship to at least get moving. And then I'll click on my ship and try to get it moving. It's the only way to break it. That silly glitch. And so this means now that I can now send this ship that way. And it means I can send that, send that one. Yeah, so, so, so I think uh, it's the only questionable one is this one right here. 
Oops, dang. So, yeah, don't forget, when you're clicking on a ship, make sure you <laughs> you remember which ship you just was last on. So Bernard uh, can get right over here somewhere. You know, like, I'm questioning if Ben can take this one. Uh, you know, it's it's <laughs> they're two very uh, equal ships. And I do have this guy. Like, I mean, I... I guess I could anchor him and I'll drop, yeah, maybe I'll drop two units out, right? And maybe I will ask Ben to um, board him. So you're going to come like that. And then you... Bernardo, you're gonna come over here and you're gonna also try to board. Yeah, so that's what we'll do. Meanwhile, the Marines are headed towards um, this other ship. But, okay, let's do it. I gotta make sure that this ship is supposed to do that and this ship this ship is supposed to do that okay because we need to try to take him out and like I said that'll keep him busy now these guys all right so if you you go there and You go there. And now this one I can tell it to go down there for now. Um, and you can see all these guys are headed for this ship right here. Cause it's a first rate ocean. So, all right. So now that I have it like that, um, let's see. We gotta wait for Romulus to uh, drop out the units. Hey, well, like Ben K is doing pretty good, I think. Dropped him to 800. And now if this ship can just line up and participate, then maybe I won't even need these units. Like I was just worried that Ben K couldn't do the whole thing. But with uh, Bernardo beside him, that's making him waver. How is everybody doing? All right, well, now, um, yeah, you can just head off. Oh, yeah, and uh, excuse me, Rochester, but uh, move over there and board this one. Jeez. The ally ain't the ally ain't gonna be able to take this ship. I I just I just know it ain't gonna be able to. I mean I have no idea what that ship has on it, but um, all right. Yeah, and you were uh okay. So let's see here. Yeah. All right. Well, that was a. Uh, that was a scratch. All right, so let me see. I got to get you back on your ship. I got to get you back on your ship. Hey, hey, Adam, over here. Get back on your ship. You can just drop out one unit. We got him. That's all that matters. No, you get moving. Ben, you get moving.
All right, and let's, just for the heck of it, let's see what this one was. Ah, oh, this is a Santissimia. I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah. This, this ship has 144 guns. Yeah, this is a really good ship. Yeah, like I'll definitely want that one in my Navy. I definitely want that as a trophy. And they must have a couple more of them back there, so. So then maybe, maybe this Europe, yeah, maybe I'd want the Marines to go to this ship, but they're not all going to be able to go on. So maybe I'll put, put one unit there, one unit there, and then these two. We'll go on that one, I think. Let's see. Yeah, he's going to head that way. Because I know they'll be able to at least take those. All right, so at least it's shaping up now. Um, now we're back in, in here, so now he's going to get moving. And this ocean one can just get on out of here as far as I'm concerned. So I'll have an ocean one head off that way into nowhere land and those ships are moving that way. This one's going that way. Now, oh, now the ally gave up. See, I, all right, well, why don't I park this one right there? And you got to head over this way to go get that one. And Ranger, you can actually go right there. Like, I don't know where that ship's going, but if he, if he stays there, if I could get here, I could shoot him in the rear. So let's, let's play for that. So let's see if, uh, why don't I just put one on this one and send this guy to that one, because I'd rather have, oh, now, Rochester, New York starts boarding. Okay. Hey, and the, look at, the ally is slowly coming back, so that is a good thing. All right. All right, the ally came back. So that should help out because they can shoot muskets and stuff like that. And now Ranger. Oh yeah, look at look at all that. And, and only one-third of the cannons actually hit that ship. Okay, so now, let me see here. Yeah, Ranger, you keep going. Ooh, and I got this one right here, so I want this one to turn that way. And that means you got to get to over there. All right, now let's see. Now we do have that, so now I just got to see how many can get on this ship right here. All right, let's see what happens here. Because I know when you capture ships, it'll, it'll, it won't let you put, you know, you can't go full capacity. But we did get 
three marine units onto this ship and it bumped it up to 400 so that's good to know on this rated ship we can at least get it to 400 now I could do an experiment if you don't mind I mean I try to do things to learn in this game so um, gotta find the Europe like man this is so many ships I don't even I don't even see it I mean am I blind oh it, that says Romulus I see it highlights on Romulus Ah, oh, man. Well, I guess I ain't going to do that. Uh, what I wanted to do was drop my marine unit off the ship. But it's not as easy <laughs> as it seems. Yeah, it's not as easy as it seems. At least I can get these ships moving. So let's let's at least do that. All right, well, like I said, my experiment w would have been to take... I can't find uh, Europe. I mean, I, either I'm blind or I don't just see it. Like, do you see Europe here? Like, I absolutely do not see Europe. So... I would have just taken the Marine unit, which is 100 men, and I would have put it on this one, see if I can get this one over 500, but... Anyway, so let me pause because now I, I lost my train of thought and we got to see what's going on here. Alright, so now you stop and you stop. Oh, and we... Alright, I drop one unit out. That's another ship I got. Okay. So this little ally ship can head over over there, I guess. Uh, this ship can go over there. And Rochester, you can try to... Whoops. I just want to get these ships because it, it won't let me close it. You know what I mean? It, 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 it's so... That is something they really need to fix. If I only want to put one unit on a ship, that's all I want to put on it. I should be able to close that box. So now, like I said, I, I got to make sure I don't have ships collide. So this is a lot to figure out. Okay. And actually, because I can't... Um, I can't access the ship. I do not see... Yeah, I do not see that ship, so I'm just going to tell that ship to just get out of here then. It'll go off with my 100 Marines. Oh, well. I would have rather had all of them on here, but I thought there would be a limit, so that's why I put one off, because I figured, you know, whatever. So I've already discussed that in my videos anyway. So we'll get back to the battle here. Um... Now, this is a mess, right? Two ships. I anchored them both, so we are... Like, I don't even know what I could do in this situation here. I can't even see the enemy ship. Like, it's right somewhere over here. Yeah, it's right there. So, um, I'm going to have to say... Um, can the Ranger board that one? And that would mean I can take this guy to go over there and board that one. Because this is a mess. And this ship... In fact, this ship can, can anchor. And you can even uh, try to get him. Alright, so that's what we can do there. I mean... I hope I don't lose the front end here, but 
Because that'll suck. But anyways. And these guys were supposed to at least just move a little bit so we can get some clearance. That's all they were supposed to do is just, just try to break from being all stuck together trying to board that ship. And you now, like I said, if you could get over there, that way I'll have my two best ships over there. You guys, Ben, you can at least head that way, Renato, that way, and you are just, uh, just to leave. And that means I want you to get over there too. Yeah, I can't wait to get this one into my navy. And the Europe, yeah, you're just gonna head off with my 100 uh, marine unit. Oh wow. C'est la vie. Alright, so province, you can get moving. Oh, and are you... Yeah, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, uh, okay, the back rounds just bounce off, but that's okay. I mean, this guy's stuck between my sh two ships. He's not gonna, um, he's, he's not gonna fare well, I would imagine. I mean, my ships are trying to board him, it's just that they're not in the exact position that they need to be. So yeah, so alright, by opening this up, I at least now have clearance, and we just got to make sure we don't collide. Yeah, you just got to get over here, because I'll use these two ships to start moving over there. And you, you're supposed to get here, and actually take him out. But yeah, this is a big, and, and like I said, I think they really need to optimize this because it's been stuck a little ways, stuttering or something, but anyways. All right, and like I said, I'm sorry, um, like I said, you always have the option to speed ahead to see the results. You know what I mean? Where me, I'm playing, I mean, I'm, I am having fun. Like, this is fun. It's just that I need to be able to see exactly what's going on here so I don't make any mistakes. And I'm thinking, like, him right here for now, um, shooting at him is fine. If they want to do broadsides together, that's okay, because it allows this one to get into position to take him out. And and then once I think I have that, and I have Romulus up over here to there, everybody else has already been hurt or weakened. So these guys really don't matter. And then don't forget, I have all these allies to deal to deal with this once I get this sh this ship to go right here. These guys can get out of the battle as far as I'm concerned, but they can't right now because of this blobby mess right here. And I don't know Do I have to close you just a little bit? And I mean, I think you should be able to board. I mean, seriously. So, all right, let's let's see what's going on. See how once this ship gets here, I mean, this ship is gonna be uh, toast. I mean, once New Bedford opens up on him, matter of fact, I'll go canister.
me. Yeah, he'll have fun shooting at me for a moment, but once I open up, um, and here he goes. Look at that. I mean, it's not the, it didn't do the best, but. Yeah, he's actually, the wind is blowing him backwards. Now, Ranger can move over here too. Alright, let me see. Oh, okay. Alright, now, why are you not... Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I can just drop it, you know, though. And of course, you'd, you'd go over there, so you're going to have to... Get over here. You just get over there like that. Okay. Now please tell me if I pull you in that you can board. I mean, you should be able to board. Well, gonna have to board with this one too then. Boy, the poor ranger has to do a lot. Alright, notice how these guys are all clumped up. Imagine if you had a couple of fire ships. Hey now. Oh man, yeah, I wasn't watching. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, just... Just anchor and shoot whoever you can shoot. I mean, okay. One L, uh, like I, I had, I had one moving and I didn't anchor him, so he just went right into the pack. I mean, but like I said, if that was my ship, I'd be really, I would just probably tell him to head off and get out of there. But because that's an L, I would have let him do that. So maybe while I. Maybe what I should do is, is stop moving the fleet. Um, yeah, I, I better just give them uh, anchor orders to just stop moving them closer I guess because we're gonna have to deal with that anyways and so yeah that, that one's gonna be a loss cause but that's okay all right now I do have these guys so we're gonna get these guys moving too And I gotta watch this now. Okay, so now <laughs> can I at least get you to board this ship? Because the, the path in isn't the greatest. And then I can at least get you going, okay. And Ben K can go down there along with Bernardo. They can stop moving too. What else do we have? Yeah, you're just getting out. All right, and Rochester, I guess you can move forward too. And you definitely gotta get going. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Now this unit definitely needs to get this ship. All right, we got it. And now what was this one? Oh, this is a third rate Ardent. Uh, all right, well, you can head off that way.
And then once these clear, I'll send these guys away too. And, and this is really terrible. I, no. You. Come on. I mean, this is, don't you think this is ridiculous? I mean, I can, I can tilt them off a little bit like this, maybe? Try to open him up a little? And then anchor him? And then maybe I can anchor this one and see if we can just stop him from going. I mean... Oh yeah, and then he he just decides to give up. Okay. Boy, I'll tell you. <laughs> Alright. Now I think we're gonna have some collisions here, so I... Just gonna anchor you. You can continue on over that way. You can. You can. You can. And you're gonna have to go off that way, boy. Rochester, just stop there for a moment, and you can head off that way. Boy, this is crazy. A lot of ships. And that would mean, that would mean you can follow, the, yeah, you can follow that ship. Let's go. And then what I need to do is send you over there. And I'll have to take somebody off the ranger. And the ranger. Madison, you need to you need to get going. Hurry up. And that means province you can get moving to. I'll get over here. So yeah, all right. So that ally is hanging on so far. It's kind of funny, right? All right, now you need to get this ship right here. And that means the ranger can stop moving. All right, yeah, they had 300 that gave up, okay. And then that means you can start headed off this way. Alright, so now, um, let's pause for a minute. Now that I have all those ships, we're, down, we're just down to three that we have to get to win. Um, and as you can see while, I, while I'm, you know, doing this, if you're watching, um, I like taking ships that I damaged and only took over with one unit. I like... Um, just kind of like sending them out now. I think Victoria is an ally, right? So actually, um, you can just go that way too. And this ship, I definitely want into my navy. So you can head off that way. Alright, so we got no ships back there to worry about. America, you can um, 
you're an ardent class, that kind of sucks. This will be one that I'll definitely sell. But Alright, well we're getting close now, so we gotta get going. Oh man, look at this though. This would be ideal to throw a fire ship into here, man. You could wipe them all out. Yeah, this is one big clump. Look at that. That's how it ended up. I mean, this is going to be messy. And I got you not going to crash into the Romulus. No. Move off that way. Alright, the only way I think I could do this is... Oh, this is a big one right here. Oh, this is... I Now, here's where you, you wish you brought off a fire ship. I mean, for this purpose here. You just start this one on fire. It, you know what I mean? It would probably set that one on fire. It would probably set that one on fire. They would probably move with the wind and set the... I mean, yeah, this... What a mess this could be. How am I going to get in there and get all those... So if you watch this up until this point, or you just go to this part of the video, this is where it's going to go, like, really weird. Oh, uh, man. How am I going to crack this nut? Okay. Well, either way, I'm going to need support ships. So. Trying to think of where the spots these guys can go to. Now, you're going to have to go right here. Oh, man, this is going to be ugly. Like, I'm trying to think if I... Maybe if I put ships like this here, we can just shoot right into that area. But to go into that is going to be... Like, that would be... Like, this is where you would want a save in the game. Like... But either way... I... All right, suppose I go... You there. You go there. You go there. And you get there. Maybe you can go over here. Um, oh, man, this is going to be ugly. Maybe I'll send you in there because you're an ally. You can go in there. Yeah, you know, this is going to get really weird. You're going to get over here, I guess. I don't know. Man. All right, we're, gonna, we're just going to let it go. I'm not going to go fast because I do not want, you know, like I, like like even this is a little problem at the moment. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe maybe if I plant you right there, because they're just one big clump. This is the, this is like really bad. So I'm thinking, you can have the Romulus shoot this guy in the rear. I mean, this would have been ideal for a fire ship, or even two fire ships. You could probably wipe the whole thing out. Man. Yeah, this is gonna get really ugly. Yeah, man, I don't even know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is outrageous. Oh, and what a mess. 
All right, now that means you're going to have to go over there now. Because they're, they're going to be going with the wind. Now, you, you're supposed to be just getting out of the battle. Ah, oh, man. All right, and that means you got to get over that way, too. Matter of fact, you're going to have to go that way. You're going to have to go that way. Yeah, because the wind has changed. Look at that. That's why everything's moving now. Darn. What? This is, uh, you know... I'm going to make a picture of this because this is this this is just craziness. Totally craziness. And this battle is going to be like I said so long, but hey, it's what it is now. All I can really do is I'm going to tell Villa to um try to board. I mean, I know it ain't going to go down good, but and you can shoot with that. And Province is going to try to go like that. And you are going to at least get to here. And may Oh my... I don't even know how to do this. Oh. Alright, and, and your being there is not going to do me any good, so you got to move. I think maybe... Maybe I could take that one out, let's see. And Ben, you're going to have to go that way along with Bernardo. Um, And you definitely got to get somewhere over here so then I can then get you going that way. Because this whole battle is shifting now. Boy, does that suck. Like I said, man, that would have been good to have a fire ship when they first piled up like that. I'll tell you. All right, enough with the pause. I mean, I'll get going. Just got to get these ships moving. I mean, we're going into the lion's den is the way I look at it. Ay, what a mess. Okay, yeah, and see, and he's wiggling out, so. Wow, it's amazing how this is shifting. All right, well, Romulus, Romulus will open up on that ship in just a moment. All right, now, if you stop him, and then you turn this way, come on. Okay, now, if I can just tilt that ship like this, like this is really uh, crazy. I mean, I definitely want the ship, but I mean, I, I got two big ships here, and this one just didn't do right. Um, so it's stuck in an L, which is the bad place to be in.
So yeah. All right, you're gonna have to. Boy, this is gonna get tight. You're gonna have to turn that way. I mean, really, you're gonna have to go right there then to shoot this ship. I mean, I don't know if I can board him and pull him in. So that will be that now. Yeah, you're probably not gonna make that turn. So I'm probably gonna have to have you go this way and then turn in. Meanwhile, maybe I can get you to come over that way along with this one, maybe. Or I should just anchor you for now. Yeah, this is crazy. And I might as well get you moving. And Ranger, you gotta get moving. And Rochester, you move. Yeah, you might as well get over there. Victoria, you can move. And you're moving. Boy, what a mess. And I can't even win this yet unless I get three more ships. So this was a pretty big task. Now what I possibly could do is get this one over here to try to take him out. But the problem with that is I think I'm going to need this big one to come around over here. So, so that's what I think I need to do. Cause I got all these other little ships coming in this way, so I mean, eventually they'll all get here. But, wow, what a mess, huh? Alright, province, you can definitely go right there. Alright, I, I, yeah, I, I need to see this from a different perspective, <laughs> okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, well, let's see. We got the win. So instead of you just sitting here, maybe I could cut you in and you can try to board. And then you going this way is no way, so you go right like that. And then maybe, maybe you could board. And I have no more ships over here, so... Just in case that doesn't work out, maybe I could have you go right there. And we can have three ships hitting him, so... Because, yeah, I have no more ships over here to plug in this area, so... He, so I don't know if he can make this turn from this ship here, just like this ship's gonna try to turn. I don't think it will be able to, but we'll see. And Ben, I guess <laughs> you could try to take him. I mean... <laughs> and Bernardo, um, I guess you go right there maybe to try to stop them from moving, but man. All right, now I do have a ship right here, so let me just anchor him and see if he can take one of them out. Yeah, because this battle is always shifting, so that means I need to get you to come over this way. Boy! <laughs> Gee, this is crazy. You, you, you gotta try to move. And you gotta try to get there. Man, I even told him to anchor. Oh boy. What a mess.
Oh no, I got the ranger. Okay, so the ranger can go right here. And this one's gonna try to go in between there just to make a buffer. And New Bedford needs to really close in here. And this ship, yeah, he's anchored, so y you're going to shoot this one. Yeah, and you're going right, uh, right about there. Let's see. Yeah, this is just craziness. But, like I said, I think if I can get that ship there, I'll box him in. He just has to get right there. And like I said, they really need to optimize this game. There's just too many ships. Okay, now this ship will be able to shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, at least this ship's in a good spot to shoot to shoot this ship. Now this ship. Eh, could, could, could try to take him, I guess. Probably won't happen. Matter of fact, um, this ship could uh, do that too, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, this is gonna, this is probably gonna turn out bad for me, but, um, so I gotta direct my attention elsewhere. Now, unfortunately, the way these are, Can I board that one? And can... Can you board that one too? It, it go right there. Yeah, and this one can shoot that one right there. All right, now we might do the board in there. Now that would mean... Ben, you were supposed to try to take him, so that means you gotta, you gotta turn in. Okay, now, we are boarding that one. And this one. Can you board that ship? And I, like I said, I'm just, I don't even know what's going on here. I mean, Romulus is, is damaging this ship, I believe, yeah. And he has three ships here that he has to deal with, so, and this one has two ships. A and he's actually trying to board. So, um, depends on how this is going to work. Because um, if he wavers and gives up, he might dump into it, but that'll again weaken him, so... Um, and if I can resolve some of this other stuff before that happens... Um, 
it would all be a benefit. Now, Ben, again, you need to close that out. And you're shooting that one, in that fact. And you are trying to board. And you're also trying to board. And you are boarding. So now you can just get there. That means I have this ship. So I guess your job would be to come over here. All right, let's do it. Yeah, and as this ship gets over here, we can put a block on uh, this one. This is, I just can't even figure out what is what. <laughs> All right. All right, well, it looks like Ben's handling that. Okay, good. Now this guy surrendered. So we just drop out one unit, close it. See, it won't close. Darn, I hate that. Okay. Alright, now what is this ship? Oh yeah, this is another one. 144 gun. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want those in my Navy. Alright, so we got that one. And that means... Ah, but see, like I said, they have this bug in the game where... So I'm going to just send, I'm going to have him go like that. You have to direct the ship to move, otherwise you won't be able to release, release this. It's just, you know, it's just one of those buggy things. And now what do we got going on here? Um, yeah, it looks like uh, this ally will lose that. And... This ship, Romulus, is not even hurt, and it's still pounding this one. And he may be able to deal with this ship, because these guys certainly can't. But this is just an ugly situation that I, because of the way the wind is, I can't really do anything. I mean, the only thing I could do is probably take this one and move him. Yeah, is I can't even tell. Yeah, this is the enemy ship. Yeah, I could probably put this one, like... I don't know if I could put this one, like, right about there so he can shoot at him. I might be able to do that. Yeah, this is crazy. Alright, well I can't do anything until these ships resolve, so... Yeah, you definitely have got to get over here. And you can move to right about there, I guess. Alright, it looks like Ben can take out uh, this one. And then I can get Ben and this one to just get out of the battle. And then I can bring Bernardo over. Well, Bernardo's going to go right here for right now. I mean, I think Richard can come over here and take this one out. So if we can just get there. So let's go ahead and continue on. Um, Ben starts boarding. Oh, Ben one boarding. Okay. So Ben, uh, drop... And that's it. And Ben, you're still at 570. That is not bad, believe me. Alright, you go over here, Bernardo. So yeah, so Ben, you can actually... You can actually move some more. But once Richard gets over here, it should be over. 
So it's starting to shape up. I mean, yeah, I'm down to... If I pause this for just a second, I'm down to just one enemy ship and I can win the battle, but... I, I, you know what I mean? I built a navy. I, I, my navy is costing me sixty-six thousand dollars a turn, so for maintenance. So I mean, and a minus, and that's minus. So I built a, a tough navy, um, without using fire ships to uh, do this hard campaign, and get to the end of this. So I mean. Yeah, the ally gave up right here, so that means you 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 just gotta get right here. And you I hope you're you know you're blasting him at least with that. And oh so Romulus did take some some he had twelve hundred so he lost some already, but Alright Romulus, um let me see, which way is this? This ship is facing this way. And he's going against the wind, so he can't really do nothing. Um, I could probably turn the Romulus like this, so it can at, at least start shooting again. Now, <laughs> okay, now we got a, we got boarding going on here, so that's good. It's so hard to make out what's going on here. All right, let me let me go back to this. I want if I can just get this ship right here. Yeah. Oh, oh, somebody must have gave up because it says I can finish. Now, wait a minute. Did something happen? Oh, yeah, right here. Okay, we'll just drop one unit to claim him. Okay. And now, I think I told this one... Yeah, he's trying... He, he just... We can't line up because of the way all the ships are. It's really unfortunate. But at least I can get New Bedford moving. Oh, poor Ben had to do so much in this battle. So matter of fact, Ben, you just you just um tilt him off a little bit. Now you you're gonna come this way. You're coming this way, come on. Okay, now, hold on. Providence surrender. Provi uh, yeah, well, I knew. I knew that. Um, where is it? No, that's not, that's not Providence. Where's Providence? Oh. oh, right over here. Yeah, that's fine. And if the enemy drops out to take this over, I got this ship here to hit him. Hey, look, we got two Providence. Why would they have two of the same ship names? That's kind of weird. All right. Well, anyways, um, all right. So I, mean, I, I think, like I said, if I can move the Romulus a little bit more, you know, we're shooting him in the back, and unless he goes backwards from the wind, he's kind of stuck, right? And I'm gonna leave this ship here because there's really nothing he can do. I mean. If he takes this over, this ship right here will hit him. You know what I mean? Um, and he's he's got this one stuck. And I think if I if I move this one right here now, maybe this one will be able to try to board him or something. But it'll it'll lock him in place. And matter of fact, I'm gonna. I think I'm going to bring this ship over here too for support. So yeah. And 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 I think I can take this one, go like this and maybe he can straighten out to start the board. And that might give him room to move a little bit where this one can get him. And this ship here 
can just head out. And Rochester can come right over here. All right. So yeah, it's shaping up. All right. Now, I'm not going to worry about those things over here for right now. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can close this guy out. Which I have Richard, which is, uh, you know, Richard should be able to take this guy out. All, you're, all you were supposed to do was keep this guy, you know, uh, from not getting away. Come on. Alright, now Richard, you just gotta get over here and we can take him. Now, oh, come on. Yeah, like I said, if this is too boring for you, you need to just go to the end if you just want to see the results, folks. I always say that. You don't have to bear it with me, but this is fun. I mean, believe it, this is fun. I mean, in my normal campaign, I'm sure I brought probably three fire ships. But in, in this hard campaign, why I switched to first and second rate ships is by capturing all the enemy ships. And so I, I feel that I built a pretty strong um, navy. So, like I said, you know, I'm playing hard. I want this game to throw whatever. Now, see now, what problem, problem is I didn't anchor in time, so this is going to suck right here. Oh, but he's going to move a little bit, so maybe we'll be able to board. I mean, it, it wants this ship boards. As a matter of fact, shoot the canister. Yeah, and I mean, if, if he wants to stay like this... Okay, now, some other stuff's going on in the game, so I need to take a look and see. Oh, oh okay, over here. So somebody... Yeah, okay, well, you're wounded, so you'll go there. All right, so we got that. So now, you know, I... This is a... a <laughs> this is a mess, but look, we own it all, so... <laughs> It's no, we don't have to do anything else. Okay, right there. Oh, and uh, yeah, Providence still, okay, now if he's gonna get, oh, is he wiggling to get away? And like I said, if he doesn't take this ship over, yeah, and, and you're gonna go right here so you can shoot at this ship, okay. This is an ally ship that gave up. But like I said, I, I, I can't move anything here because I don't want these guys to slip away and then I'm going to have to go chase them. And all I did was move him here so he can hit this one. And that would mean maybe... I can bring... I can see if I can get this ship to come over here. It's going to go against the wind, but it ain't going to, but... All right, so let's just watch this for a moment. Yeah, and I got these two ships that can uh, shoot him. So yeah, Richard's going to take him out. Come on, let's just get this over with. Come on, Richard. Oh yeah, and look at Bernardo and Ben. They can shoot. You see, it doesn't let me select anything, so I'm wondering if they change something in the game where once you're bored and your ship can't shoot, but it, you know, it, sometimes I feel that the enemy shoots, so why can't my ship shoot? Because look, this is just, um, oh, I, I'm sorry, I accidentally hit the, the pause button. <laughs> I was wondering why it wasn't move, like it wasn't doing it. Because he's wavering, he should give up. Okay. Well, 
All right, Richard, you can stop moving too over here. All right, now we're down to just... We still got three ships to take out. Um, I don't know how to do it, actually. Um, well, I guess if I bring... Yeah. Let me bring this one here. He's going to come this way to take this one out. And this one, like I said, he is boxed in. And I mean, once I put this one right about here, then this uh, 144 gunship can shoot him. And that should eventually, and we got this one right here. So muskets are firing. So, I mean, it, it's, this is really a, uh, but, but I can't move this ship because if for any reason they take this over, that, that, that makes an opening for them to move. And I, I don't want them to move. So now over here, I think what I got to do is just figure out if I can, yeah, you could just get out of here. You can get out of here. Now, Bromcastle, maybe I can... Yeah, let me move Bromcastle. Let me see if I can get Bromcastle to come over this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so... Bromcastle will move. And this ship, if I can find it, Pluton. I'm gonna dump. I'm gonna dump those units out. Oh yeah, come on. That ship is shooting at them. Oh boy. Those are allies, but um, nonetheless, what I want to do is I would like to get them onto this ship here. So, can you at least move to there? And then you're going to go there, you're going there, and you're going there. Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to. Um, he's he's backing out. The wind is backing him out. Oh yeah, and he even wiped out one of the units. Look at that. That's terrible. But like I said, my plan is to get this one over here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take this one and, and try to board him. Okay? We've had enough of this. And you got to really get going. Here. Okay. Yep. Because we're, yeah, we're moving in. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of him. So you're getting right over there. And now you are coming on over here. Let's go. We're going to. Boy, this is so confusing. What is going on? All right, so like this guy. <laughs> what a mess. Oh my gosh. Yeah, now the only problem here is I'm going to take broadsides from this one. 
That's the only drawback to this, but we got to get this guy out. I mean, this this one is is he moved he backed up through the wind and he is um and I got this one coming over here for that ship, so Yeah, that is um yeah, he's going to end up sinking this ship over here. I mean, that's this I bet you this is a, a 144 gun ship right here. So so yeah, my goal is to get them all so i mean um so i i have to take this romulus is a 126 gun ship but romulus is going to get right in here to board this ship this one oh. oh come on and you got to get over here and i'll put you back to that okay let's go come on we got to do this I mean, we're going against the wind. All right, you're gonna have to move to block him. Come on, I should have moved this ship just a little bit ago. I've told the uh, Romulus to anchor. Because I, I need to clear this ship. Yeah, see, I knew that's an ally ship anyway, so I'm not worried about it sinking. Yeah, and I can't because of the... See, the wind's changing again. That's what's going on. Man, this really complicates things. Now, Province, what you got to do is try to board him to at least get him busy. All right, so now, good. This is working now. Okay. So now I can bring the Romulus. Yeah, Province is... um boarding him right so that's going to keep him busy and now i bring this ship right here and also board him no oh, i'm looking at this wrong wrong come on come on don't pass him don't pass him all right, good. We're going to board. We are going to board. Yeah, so he he took out the two province uh, ally ships. But that's okay, because now I'm in a position to take him out. And... And if I fail at that, you know, like this ship has, I think, a third tier boarding kit. So um, this ship, it, it has either a, a second tier or a third tier. So I, I better win this. So we're just going to see. And if I can get this, then these two ships will come back eventually. Nine to five, so let's see. I mean, it's going to be very costly, but it's okay. I mean, I don't mind because there's just too much going on. But anyways, okay, now you... 
You gotta get right there. Yeah, see, this one's already in the process of coming back. And once he does, this one will really waver. So we got 800, yeah, so we should get this, but it, it's costly. I mean, I like, like, look, this is a three star ship, you know, and it's got three perks, so. Um, all these guys are really good guys. I hate, hey, finally worked where I got that one. Okay, where I was able to close it. So, okay, so now that's a done deal. So, so now it's just those two. And we'll, we'll just blast that one. Matter of fact, I'll even try to get that one to board him. Yeah, we'll see. We'll just pound that one into... And wind is, like, this is really... <laughs> this is like a bad situation. <laughs> because of the stupid wind changing all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it would mean that this one could at least move, right? Yeah, so maybe that'll be advantageous for me to move. So let's see if I can get this ship to move. Let's go. Yeah, and this is problematic. It seems like um, the ally ships are getting damaged a lot. Like, I don't even have one of my ships here. Th these are all ally, and this is the ship I took over. So, yeah, let, let's let's all roll to long ball, or round ball. Okay, so we're gonna just either try to see if I can get to board this ship right here. Oh yeah, this is an ally ship. Yeah, remember I told you that when they surrender, if you, you don't take them over, they'll come back to whatever they were? Yeah, so it's amazing that these ally ships, right, like... You should be able to shoot this way, you should be able to shoot that way, you should be able to shoot that way. And you're shooting, but you're not really doing any damage, so... Well, yeah, he is... Uh, no, those are ally ships that are getting hurt. Notice that red uh, Monarch is, is hardly damaged, I mean... Yeah, I guess until he, um... Oh wait, there's 600 on this one. So if I move this ship, maybe I can move this one right here. Yeah, and now, be oh my gosh, this is not, 
This is not doing it the way I wanted to do, uh, you know. Like, he's about to sink and I need this 600 to try to take him out, but this guy is in the way and I'm trying to get him over there. And... Oh, and this one, okay, so you gave up, so we'll just put a unit on you, our ship. Let's see over here. Yep, man, I'm telling you, that did not work at all. This is so frustrating where um, if I would have kept him anchored and then get that other ship to move out of the way, then I would have brought, be able to bring him in. I mean, that was the one mistake I made. So now we're going to try to, because before this ship sinks, I mean, I need to get this one, you know what I mean? Like... This is frustrating. <laughs> this is the last ship. All right, uh, you, you gotta try to move. I mean, we're, the wind. Ah, I hate when the wind keeps changing. Cause it, it it always seems to me, and it's just my opinion. You can tell me if I'm wrong. But it always seems that the AI, enemy AI, can adjust to the change in wind. Uh, it, it, it seems to go into their benefit, like. They're able to turn a certain way and get shots on my ships and stuff like that. And I can't. I mean, this is just plain crazy. I'm looking for any ship that I could possibly move, but we're going against the wind again. And like I said, I played this ship wrong when he was over here and the other ship was blocking him a little bit. I had to move that ship, but the mistake I made was moving both of the ships at the same time. And that's the ship, I mean, that's the, the mistake I made. And this, like I said, look at, I'm just stalemated. I mean, this is nuts. I'm totally stalemated. I mean, I can finish the battle, but every ship you get, like the point what I'm trying to make is, is this is the last ship. And I need to get it because then I can sell it for, for rep. You know, because if it's too damaged, I ain't gonna want it. I'll take the one that's least damaged, but I'm, what I'm saying is um, I didn't come into this with fire ships to just knock out ships, get my 12, and then just get out of this battle. I came into this battle fully armed with really good ships, three perks each, three stars each. Um, you know, I developed my, my navy that way, like I already explained how I did it. So anybody else who wants that as a tip, you got it. You know, you don't want a 10,000 Navy, you just want a 5,000 Navy, and you recycle everybody into the ships that you're gonna put into the battle. And that's how you level them all up and get them to have three perks. Um, 
and put in perks into things. So, I mean, but, you know, but look at the enemy, too. They scale up. Like, I'm playing, like, if you want an easy campaign, um, whatever difficulty you, you pick, you can take no adoption, and that means no adaptation, and that means there will be no scaling. But I'm playing hard, and I'm playing with scaling because I gotta see, you know, I want to see how hard this really is, right? You know what I mean? And, you know, I've been playing this game since it came out in December of uh, last year. And then in January, when it made, like, part of a British campaign, I'll just tell you the history. I looked online to see if somebody had the British campaign online, and they didn't. They just had those little battles. So I'll just tell you my story is... I wanted to see somebody play in this campaign. I'm not going to say I'm the first, but I wanted to see somebody play in this. And so I would know what to do in a campaign, but nobody had it up ex ex at the time when I was looking. So I, so I said, well, dang, I'm just going to have to play this. And, and then I put it up. And, and so in February, yeah, this one's really getting damaged. But in February, I put those videos up. In, in January and February and stuff, and I started doing that. But since then, um, other people did it too, and we all learn from each other. So that's why I'm saying, that's why I put it up, is to, it, we all learn. And, but I deleted all those campaigns, like back in January and February on YouTube, like I deleted them all. I mean, they did have 500 people that looked at them, because at that time, there was a lot of people that were interested in it. But now they go to the, the big wigs who, uh, you know, uh, do that, and they have like millions of users, and that, and, that, and that's fine. I mean, that's for them. They make money doing that, and I'm not here to make money. I'm I'm retired, so I, you know, I'm early retired. But I mean, I make enough money, believe me, uh, to pay my bills. So, so I don't need YouTube money, and I'll never need YouTube money. But the point of what I was saying is, um, I was promoting this game, and the reason I was promoting it is because I like it. And it's a really a good game. And um, and look, at we're just going backwards. Look, this ship is going backwards. This is like craziness. Um, it really is. But but what I was just trying to explain, because I'm you know still in this battle, and if you if you watch all of this, you'll at least know my history of of this game. You know, I started in December, but everything that happened in February and, G and March doesn't reflect what this game really is now and that's why I deleted all those campaigns and I just left the most recent campaigns from May on I guess and, and but now I am doing this hard um, campaign and, and 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 look at like this one ship like dish sunk all the ally ships that were near here I mean, this one enemy ship did that. And that's why some people will say that this game is hard. Um, because the AI can do all these crazy things. But, um... But anyways, but that, that was my history of why I deleted all those that you guys looked at a long time ago is because they don't represent what this game is now. This right here is is version 9.16 revised 35748. This is the version I'm playing. Like this is the most recent version of what this game is. Now these allies they're not moving. So let's just get over here for now. Don't stand there. So yeah, so this one ship is the problematic ship for me. And it's all because of the way the wind... The wind is. Like, he sunk three Allied ships. And this will be the fourth one that he may sink if I could... I'm just trying to get to board him. I mean, this is the only ship that's given me the most problem in the whole uh, battle. 
because I just can't get anybody to get him. And these guys, th y yeah. Look. And that's something that I've been talking about for months in this game. That they said they worked out the path. And well, if they worked out the path and they know they can't go through here, they would come out this way and then get over there where I wanted them. So the path has not been uh, totally fixed. These allies can get on any ship, it doesn't matter. What matters is I just cannot. Oi, oi, oi. It would be better if he at least, at least, um. Yeah, so now, guys, just go off. Go off that way. I mean, these are allies. They're not mine, but... Alright, just anchor and shoot him. Man. This is unbelievable. Alright, can I at least get you over here? I mean, alright, let's go fast now, because this is just unbelievable. I mean, you know, uh, like I said, um, all because of the stupid wind. Like, look, at, I can't even imagine how long this video is. This is now 8 o'clock at night in this game. It's 20 hundred. It's 8 o'clock at night. And, you know, this is going to be a very long video. So, And it's all because of this one ship that I just cannot get any ship to take him out like I mean I think ships should be able to I'm gonna just blast into you and just push you. I mean, I don't know. We gotta do something. This is, I mean, like I said, this is where you'd want to fire ship just to take this one guy out. Yeah, I'm gonna push him into any of these other ships. Yeah, he's gonna damage my ship. I mean, I don't care. I mean... Oh, this... No, this ain't my ship. I mean, this is the ally ship. But I mean... Yeah, we're just doing it fast. We, I just want this over with. I am, I am just tired of dealing with this, this ship. Here. But anyways, like I, I was saying about the game, though. Um, just to give the information. Like, this represents what the game is right now, um, because I just read to you the version of it. That's what this version is. And we're just, I, all I'm doing, like, I'm stubborn, I know. I'm just, I just want either to sink this or for this to, um, and it's all because of the wind going this way. Like, we're all stuck. Like, so I gotta rely on an ally ship to try to, None of these guys will get over here. Like, none of them. I mean, this is pitiful. I mean, I, and, and like I said, um, I know I could have ended this a long time ago, but I took 12. All you could do is, is sink 12. You know, bring like, you can bring 10 ships. So bring four, like even, you could even get away with bringing five fire ships. And I mean, not, not, not the little tiny cutters. Like, you would want to bring, say, like, um, fifth-rate ships. Or you could even bring, like, if you don't like Ardents, you can bring Ardents. You can fill them up as much as possible. So you could bring five Ardents that are fire ships, and then you can bring five regular ships that you max out. 
and when you get that little pile right there, send in your fire ships and you can you can take out twelve ships all at once. Um and then and then you have the ally ships, you have like six ally ships maybe that you could then um you know like like I said so you could you could get out of this battle like really quick. And if you didn't build a a fleet like I did that has all three perks and three stars, um, you know, you can go the fire fire ship route, and uh, you you know you could you just have rookies on there. You don't need great uh, sailors to to man a fire ship, especially if you build a fifth rate fire ship or a third rate ardent fire ship. That would uh, be yeah. Look at this. I mean, it is nighttime. All because, uh, you know, like, these other ones I managed to get, right? Even doing all the weird configurations and stuff, I managed to get them. This one first-rate 144-gun ship, it's the only one left. And even the musket guys aren't doing it. Let's go. Let's push him. Push him into these other ships. I mean, it's ridiculous. Man. Why did they not start shooting now? This... Yeah, I just want to see if I could... Yeah, I mean, we just... all this... Yeah, this battle, like I said, you, you, you know, I, I can't imagine somebody wanting to watch this, I'll tell you that. I mean... Don't get me wrong. It sounds like it sounds like I'm complaining, but I, what I'm saying is, this situation is is pitiful. I mean, I think no nobody would want to do what I'm doing right now. I think they would just click finish. You know what I mean? But I want the the point of me building the navy that I built is to, hey, oh my god, we can throw the lines, finally. We, we curved enough to f throw the lines. All right, good, this is gonna come to a conclusion, but um, yeah, I will tell you that the whole point of me not quitting at the 12, oh, not, ki not quitting at the 12 is so I get all the trophies, okay? And that gives me the most rep and the most trophies and the most things. So, okay. So this video was very long. So if you want to just look at this. Um, I only brought nine ships. So the rest were allies. I think mine totaled just a little over 10,000. So, so allies, they gave you about 6,000 allies. So that's pretty good. Um, two ships sunk, yeah, you saw that one first-rate ship sunk two ally ships. So thankful it wasn't any of mine. And, and this is a total loss, but that includes allies and me. So the enemy had 15 ships, and I captured all 15. So I, you know, and that's a total wipe of the enemy. So under hard, scaled up. So I mean, <laughs> that... I, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not trying to brag on myself, but I'm just saying I am super happy, believe me. And this, if you want to look at this, because you know, this video is long, it went all the way to nighttime in this game, so I can't imagine how many hours this is, okay. But, uh, that is it, but yeah, look at that, 144 guns, I mean, 144, 144, yeah, so I will upgrade and do all that kind of stuff with that. But that was that. Officers, only two wounded, so but no promotions. Yeah, so I had a Commodore and a Lieutenant.
and goods. Um, yeah, look at that. Uh, not many guns. I mean, that is pitiful, actually. Oh, we'll get some guns down here. Oh, yeah, look at this. 19 and 13. But all junky weapons. Why can't they give us some good weapons? But yeah, look at all these ships. Look at all the... One, two, three... Um, four... Four... Yeah, if I'm looking at if I'm looking at this correctly, I have one, two, three, four. Yeah, so there was four one forty fours, a one twenty six. So that's like the Romulus one twenty six, like the Romulus that I have. So yeah, that was interesting. All right, well that was the battle. I don't think I'm going to show much of the harbor and all that stuff. I think. I'll make a video when I come back to it, I guess, because I just got to end this video. Um, if you want, when I upload this, I won't play the game until I hear from you. If you want me to show you what I do with the trophies, show you what I do with all those trophies, I could show you that it, and make a video of doing that before seeing what's next and all that. If you want me to, like, like if you watched all the way to this point, then you will hear me say this, but if you don't watch this boy or watch this a bit, you won't know what I just said, but I'm thinking, like, the only thing I'm going to do is um, repair this. Look at this. This is crazy. All right, so 71, not bad. 200 not bad okay now these are my ships not the ally ships so 1200 okay the romulus you know took took quite a bit ben 600 look at bernardo did a lot in the battle you know he got 50 damage castle did quite a bit too i think 110 not bad oh now this ship needs a captain so Oh man, we only have Don. No, so I'll put the commander up there. And I'll just put the midshipman right there, I guess. Okay. Alright, let me just look here for a minute. Just want to make sure the ship's have officers. All right, now, New Bedford only had 600 damage. That's not bad. And they, look, and they still have a 1,000 with three perks. I mean, 1,000. Look at the stats. Look at even... Bon homie Richard even has a thousand still. His stats not as good. And look, none of my I still have all four of my marine units that was on the uh, transport, and the transport actually their crew. You know didn't you know look at look at their stats alone. Look at that. It's just a crew of a transport. Okay, well, it appears, now look at this. I have 15, 15, trans, uh, 15 enemy trophies. Now, a uh, minus 65,000. And look at this, if I did nothing and did a turn, I would lose $25,000 just because of that so that is totally outrageous so yeah now this was this was the chesapeake three career points so all i am gonna do right now
Um. Okay, so I absolutely uh, do not know what is next and what I'm going to need or is this the end? I do not know. So I'm going to end the video here because I just saved it. So uh, when I, after I upload this, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I hear anything from any of you and see if you're interested in me even though I don't know what is next um, if there is anything next I, 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 if you're interested I can show you what I do with uh, these 15 trophies and I already have 81 rep and I still have like 3 perks like I could um, Yeah, I mean, like, I, I, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, what I do here. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to close that out. Yeah, stick one right there. Okay, so that it doesn't matter. I'll just save that right there. And um, I will thank everybody for watching. If you are, and if you stuck through it. But anyways, um, like I said, I think I'll make a video of me cleaning up this, of what I would do with all those 15 trophies and show you how I do it and stuff. And I'll make a video about that. Because what, I, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll just do it then. So anyways, wherever you are in the world, I want you to have a great uh, morning, afternoon, or evening. Have a great day. Be kind to each other. God bless to you in your own religion. Uh, this is Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos.